Hi, my name is Kelsey Gould and my two words are insignificant and valued. So like a lot of people, I grew up going to church and hearing about God and Jesus and my family prayed before meals, but it was a long time before what I was learning began to affect who I was as a person. And this all started early on in high school, maybe freshman or sophomore year, when my family was going through a really hard time, as families do, and I was feeling a lot of pain because of it. I um, had kind of hoped that people would reach out to me and ask me if I was doing okay and care for me and just show me that they loved me after the stuff that my family was going through. And, and when they didn't, I began to feel a lot of insecurities about my worth and my importance. And then these insecurities began to pop up in other places as I looked at my sister and my friends and saw that I wasn't the most intelligent or pretty or outgoing or athletic or musical or artistic or whatever it was and I felt a lot of inferiority when I was around these people and because of my insecurities I had a lot of resentment towards people who had done nothing wrong um, because I felt that they were better than me and more loved by me and these um, this resentment led to a lot of strained relationships and then the strained relationships caused more resentfulness and I basically came to the conclusion that I have no value in this world. Um, and like I said, the things I was learning in church wasn't playing a huge role in my life at this time, but one day I was reading the book of Acts, and I was reading about Peter and John, who were two of Jesus' disciples, and after Jesus was gone, they went around to tell people about Jesus and all of the amazing things that he had done. And Acts 4.13 says, But when the crowd saw the courage of Peter and John and realized that they were unschooled, ordinary men, they were astonished and took note that these men had been with Jesus. And I read that, and I thought, okay, um, they're unschooled and ordinary, but they matter because of Jesus. I can work with that. And it was then that I began to understand that my value is not in who I am, but whom I serve. And I serve a God that sent his perfect son to die on the cross so that my relationship with him could be restored. And Jesus has power to give value to the things that the world says have no value. And because of that, I will glorify him with my life. My name is Kelsey, and those are my two words.